hello everyone welcome to the cloud network so in this tutorial i am going to show you about the ubuntu mate 14.04.2 was the latest version of ubuntu mate i am going to install this one ubuntu mate in virtual box you can also install this ubuntu mate in uh, vmware workstation also hyper v workstation hyper hyper v also the same method the same procedure you to follow that i am going to show you all these links and the commands you will find under the description box below to my video so first of all uh, this is the link where you can download the ubuntu and after that one so this first of all what have changes in ubuntu made so update of this linux the version uh, 3.16 and the update of firefox 36 already has been updated in this one and update of this library office office 4.4 1.2 has been an update of light dm jdk creator 2.0 which include the main logo or this session user so all these four users are already been updated in the ubuntu mates the fifth one is your update of auto file starts that configurations of a desktop environment and after that updates in the language builds also that means supports multiple language also this ubuntu mate and also it's a fix of auto login on the first boot like that means you can log in without the password also here and you can log in with the password also that has been fixed here and also this enable touch to click by default touchpad has been uh, click configure and the ninth one is the kernel and library office has been already updates but these updates have been rolled out to existing ubuntu previously version 4.1 uh, 14.0.41 has been removed this and now 14.04.2 has been updated with the library and the kernel existing so then after that we are minimum have a requirement need to have for this installation is processor unit type pentium 3 750 hertz megahertz and above it should be have your pentium 3 or above processor whatever you have a pentium above you can install on this configure processor you need to have above to that pentium 3 and after that ram should be a 5 to well and uh, go to that one and big space you need to have 8 gb and also you can have 10 15 gb also you can make a bootable like dvd uh bootable as well as pen drive also but you need to have pen drive 4 gb of free space you need to make a bootable uh, pen drive also you need to make a dvd also both you need to make a bootable then you can insert and install after that so now i'm going to show you about this installation so this is the website of ubuntu mate uh, just copy this link in the description and click and you will be come up the download ubuntu so you can see download ubuntu is there just click on this it will be start downloading and you can see if you want to bootable usb means you can click and windows try this also is there and also you can see when you scroll down you will find for the bit torrent also you can download other op download option you will be available see so here you can download for 64 bit you need to download for the torrent and for this 32 bit you can download this one so 32 bit purpose people click here for 64 purpose you can click and download so when you scroll down you will find other also release men uh, other features supported http direct also is there you can download here so supported for the http direct option you can download this for this country european germany italy also you can find other states in united states so you can download this one so if you want to download the virtual box just type in your google AI your virtual box and you scroll down you need to find this virtual box click on download it will be redirect here this is your virtual box page so you need to download for this windows supported latest version 4.3.26 just click on this link it will be start automatically downloading to watch how to install virtual box uh, you need to find on to my channel youtube cloud at clan how to install virtual box you will find also how to uh, install virtual box also this is my virtual box i am going to install it on uh, click on new and type open to mate and then after that select your version whether 32 bit or 64 bit which one which one you have downloaded and then select the type linux which will come automatically click on next you need to assign the ram at the green point please do not go to this red point you need to stay at the green point only next create the next the next and this is my hard disk size which i am going to 
assigned for the installation of Ubuntu Mate and this is the location which, which is going to store in my system so just now change my location uh, you can keep also the default location if you want to change you can change the location and giving hard disk size this 25 GB and then click to create now then uh, you need to go to settings here you need to click on this Ubuntu Mate go to settings uh, under that you need to click on system uncheck floppy and then you need to go to processor enable epx go to storage click on md and you need to go to choose virtual disk dvd rom so assign the iso image where you have downloaded in your system just open this one or double click on this iso image and go to network go to network click bridge adapter click ok then click to start now now you can see on the screen it's loading so here is the welcome install as a super user is showing uh, before that one you need to select your language which language you are belongs to uh, you can try also Ubuntu without installation without formatting your hard disk anything changes you can try Ubuntu uh, if you want to install in a hard disk means you need to click on the install on that one uh, click install Ubuntu after that you need to see your uh, right marks is showing that size have we have been selected and power internet is okay uh, just for updates while installing will be checked and it's for third party software if you want to check you can check if you want to go back to do any changes you can go back and uh, you want to quit you can quit also here uh, for the continue you need to click continue here and now you are showing the installation type which installation you want like it will be erase uh, this and install ubuntu means it will completely format your hard disk and install uh, ubuntu fresh installation it will be installed so before for installing ubuntu mates you know to take a backup of your data whatever your data you know having on a hard disk uh, and your data files photos uh, etc some things you know operating systems uh, and if you want to have uh, uh, Unicrypt with a new Ubuntu installation for security. You can choose this one for security key and use LVM that's long term support means you can use for this installation Ubuntu logical value management. This one, and if you want to have some, something else, means you want to create a manually partition, you want to give that means you want to assign manually assign partition for root home, uh, assigning giving the size for this uh, hard disk size for home and uh, different and for uh, user slash uh, day other things you want to give a size for swap means you can check this box and assign the partitions so before selecting this erase this please take a back of your data and then go ahead with formatting so if you continue installation with this means it will format your data everything will be formatted so please take a backup and then continue click install now and if you want to go to uh, do the changes like the following partition has been format as extension for for this sd has been selected and swipe as into partition has been selected so if you want to do something else you can go back and select something else and you need to make a manually partitions there click to continue there so you need to select uh, where we are uh, that means select the time zone this one so i belong to india country that is my country and uh, you need to select which country you belongs to you need to select here also you can click and write also here language time, time zone continue click on continue so you need to select the key, keyboard language here which language you uh, belongs and which language you accessing more easily for this accessing you can also detect the keyboard language also here click to continue by default i'm selecting the english us only so here who we are that means we need to assign the username and the password for this first time login for the system so i am giving the first user my this cloud you can give any name here and giving cloud uh, network for that not full computer name so pick up user name that means it's going to be login with the username the cloud and i'm giving the password for this cloud you need to give a password for the strong password so please give a strong password i am giving this uh, simply password and uh, login automatically i'm checking the box if you you can also check required password to login so you can check and if you have my folder also you can check click to continue so you can see on screen it's taking some more time you can script copying the file so we can check the copying this file 
also you can skip to while to come the shortcut and uh, still it will takes almost for the complete installation uh, your 15 or 10 minutes till then you can have a coffee a cup of tea back then back to that will show you complete installation a bit uh, a bit open to me now my friends the installation has been completed you can see on the screen just we need to click to for restart now click up on the restart now so it's showing dates uh, please remove the installation media and close the tray if any uh, is it then after that you need to press enter so please we need to remove this cd or pen drive uh, whatever you have insert for the installation uh, after um, what will happen means it will be start again installation for that one we need to remove for virtual box i am going to show you how to remove this iso me for that one just close this virtual box machine power off and you need to go to virtual box again go to settings and then you need to click on the system uncheck floppy okay start again so you can see on this we login into the uh, ubuntu mate automatic login now i'm going to show you here and about the full screen how to make your ubuntu mate full screen uh, just you need to go to devices and uh, you need to go to install cas uh, edition cd rom so you can see uh, up, um, from the keyboard you can press a host plus b host plus d for installation about this installed cache click on this one to install this guest edition inside this here and it's showing the okay you need to press here just press okay and you need to click run 